Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Friday. This is Ebone with Unbound UAV. So I've been getting some requests to uh, actually go ahead and point things out a little better in some of my videos. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead over that. So uh, what we are going to go over is the GPS installation on the uh, Beta 85X. So uh, if you take a look over here, uh, you'll see that I wired things a bit different. Actually, I had them... Um, wired a little bit different previously because I was using this RDQ GPS. Now, uh, what did happen after a few crashes was this RDQ GPS just refused to work and uh, that's about it. Um, but uh, what I did get to do is try out the TBS GPS, which I thought it would be a one-to-one -one thing, you know, same thing, um, the same BS made everywhere, it's all made in China anyway, but uh, turns out that it was a little different. The ceramic was a little thinner, the antenna was a little bigger, and the sensitivity was amazingly better. So inside right now at a non-optimal position, I am already getting uh, six satellites. So that is by far fantastic. And it only takes, you know, uh, a minute to get the, the cold load done. And then after that, you know, a few seconds to get all the satellites. When I never experienced a... Um, fast situation with this guy here so wah wah um good thing is this is actually even a few bucks cheaper so if you head on out out to uh pyro you can go ahead and order these these are about nine bucks and change so ten bucks you know and uh just go ahead and wire it up plus it can take five volts it says it can take five volts it's taken five volts and it's doing fantastic on five volts uh so now the wiring I went ahead and wired the positive here, so you'll see the RX and TX wires right here, the green and blue, got the black for the ground, the red for the positive. And just to show you a little better, I have a uh, burnt out FC right here, so it's facing the exact same direction as I have in my quad. Uh, and you'll see over here, this 5 volt pad is where I am currently running the 5 volt for the GPS. And uh, the ground I'm actually running off back here, so both these pins are actually ground direct from uh, um, uh, direct from the ESCs. There we go, right there. And uh, then what you have next is the RX and TX. So they're wedged up over there. So I'm going to show you on the standalone flight controller. Let's see. Okay, so if you get a good view in here, you'll actually start to see where we're going to put those. So uh, if you take a look right in here, this is going to be your green wire. So it's the second one up. This is going to be your blue wire. Now be sure, whatever you do, be sure to not solder onto these next up. This is 5 volts, and this is ground. So you could fry your unit if you wire to the wrong uh, pads. So right here, do not do these pads. These pads right here, so one, two up, are the pads you're going to want to use. So now what you'll see is I actually moved the uh, five volt off of the VTX to the five volt over here, and that was just out of convenience. Okay, once you got that all set, it'll uh, take a moment and, and uh, get all configured, but it works, and uh, you can actually f still follow Bardwell's video on how to set up the uh, GPS, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and include my GPS CLI dump, so it's been uh, some items that have worked well for me, and uh, so what you can do after you get that all set up is go over to CLI. And uh, you would actually type get GPS. And so you'll see my uh, entire CLI. So this is everything that you would need to do to set up GPS. So some of these things I touched, some I didn't. And uh, this works. This is what I've been using in the videos. I've tuned a, a couple little things just to increase some speed here and there. Uh, but uh, I'll be sure to post all this CLI directly below in the video description so just go ahead and look for that uh, 
by all means, please, 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 uh, test before you use it as your failsafe. So in my CLI dump, it will have it set to uh, use GPS as failsafe. Uh, just ignore putting that command in for now and give it a test. So it's very simple to test. Don't need to make it super complicated. What you want to do is uh, <clears throat> get it all put back together, first of all. Um, and then you're going to go ahead outside, uh, put your quad down, let the satellites uh, connect. So I've set mine to five. If you use mine, it'll be five satellites. I've also set it so that way it would arm if you have no satellites. It was really annoying. Really, really annoying that if, uh, if I was indoors or I didn't get satellites that I couldn't just fly around, even if I just wanted to whoop around. So I went ahead and uh, made it so that way you can still arm without satellites. But after that, it's not going to work as, uh, as rescue. So just keep that in mind. But um, what you can do at that point is just go ahead outside, uh, put it down, let it connect to some satellites, let it hit at least five, get a 3D fix. And uh, then at that point, you can take off start heading away from you start heading away nice and slow just take it easy you're not in a rush to get anywhere and uh, make sure the arrow is following you head to the right make sure the arrow is following you head to the left make sure the arrow is following you if it's pointing back to uh, back towards you then go ahead and head further head further uh, you know go at least maybe maybe a football field or two and uh, and at that point you can go ahead and flip it on, put it on the switch, uh, check out the GPS. So it's a little weird to kind of just let go and let the thing fly. Now, don't uh, be sure you don't uh, change anything with the throttle values, anything, and be sure to not disarm. If you disarm, it will just drop out of the sky, and I've done that. So, yeah, that's that's what happened to me. Uh, but uh, just let it do its thing, let it come on back to you, and then uh, just watch your altitude because once it starts to descend it's going to hit a point where it's just going to drop so it's going to descend a bit and then eventually just drop but at any point you can flip off the gps take over control and uh and fly so that's how you're going to want to test it if uh if you hit any issues at any point just go ahead and put the quad down go grab it uh because last thing you want to do is have it take off go who knows where and and just yeah you don't want to lose your quad all right. Well, uh, thank you very much, everybody. By the way, I've got a uh, surprise coming up, and uh, my next video, which will also be out tonight, is about putting uh, the latest beta flight on there. I've already been working with the RPM filter on these guys, and it is a game changer. And I don't mean that in the uh, in the stew sense, where everything's a game changer. I mean, for Cinewoops, it really makes a big difference. It takes care of a lot of issues, especially with the uh, Beta 85. Alright, thank you very much.